Hello everyone, today we're going to be unboxing the Play-Doh Rose Garden and create some very pretty, delicate, and beautiful flowers. I guess Mr. Chimpanzee, the teddy, and all the doggies are looking very excited to watch the fun. Everybody's in on it, so let's get started. If you look at the box, you can see from the outside, it has two Play-Doh colors in it to make flowers. And they've shown a quick instruction on how to use the mold. They've also shown how to use the flower cutter. The interesting part is they've also shown how to mix two different Play-Doh colors to make a third color out of it. That's amazing. For instance, red plus white equals pink. They've also written how to make your own rose garden. And on one of the sides, all the contents have been written. So you can see the different parts that are going to be inside the box. Here's the content. We have two flower book molds, four stems, one flower holder, one flower cutter, an instruction sheet, and two tubs of Play-Doh. Let's begin. Let's remove the seal and take the things out. This is going to be full of stuff all kinds of interesting things inside. First, we have the white Play-Doh. And our second color, the red Play-Doh. Now let's open the packet. It has a flower cutter, a tray for the flower holder, and four stems. One, two, three, four. We also have the flower book molds, which has different shapes and kinds of flower designs. And a flower holder. You see, the flower is going to fix inside to the holder. So let's take one of our flower molds and let's use the blue one first. Everybody's curious how we're going to begin. Well, to start. Take some white Play-Doh out, roll it, take a portion off. And let's press it inside one of the molds. Put it right in the middle portion of the flower. In the very center of each mold, you put those two white pieces of Play-Doh. Now let's take some red Play-Doh and roll it out. Take two small parts and fill the mold, the remaining part of the mold, with the red Play-Doh. That's right, you're going to put the red Play-Doh on top of the white Play-Doh. We put the white Play-Doh inside two molds, so we're going to put the red Play-Doh inside two molds. You can't see the white right now, but we're going to be able to see it later. It's going to look really good. Now take the stem and press it against the mold.
And then, again, put some more red Play-Doh on top. Now you shut the whole thing like a book. Close it and you press it. Nice and easy. Open it. You can add a little bit more red Play-Doh because you've pressed it down very firmly. There's the stem again. You close it like a book. You press it. Oh, you can see a little bit coming out. That means that we've got more than enough Play-Doh this time. Now open it up again. Wow. Carefully, carefully, take the stem out. And the whole flower is there. Just remove that extra. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's so adorable. You had the white Play-Doh, the red Play-Doh. You put the stem, more red Play-Doh. You squished it all together. You created the, the book, opened it up, and bang, there it is. Our first flower. So go ahead and place that in the flower holder. See how it fits in just like that? Hey, let's try another flower. But you know what? Maybe we'll try it differently this time. We had white in the center before, but how about if we put red in the center? That's right, put red Play-Doh in the center of the mold now. Here's a mold, it's got the red in the center. Put the white on top of it and fill it all up. Yeah. So far, so good. What's the next step? Do you remember? Yes, that's right. Take the stem and place it firmly in the middle. Close the book, press it. Aha, uh -huh. you see a little bit of Play-Doh coming out the side. That means that you've got a good amount. Carefully pull out the flower and peel off the edges. And there we have a second flower, a beautiful second flower. This time, this one has white petals. It has white petals, but a red center. And when you're done with all the extras, go ahead and put it into the flower holder too. Two beautiful flowers. Now let's use the other mold. Now we're gonna use the pink mold book. For this kind of flower, let's use the red Play-Doh and fill up the mold. That's right, go ahead, put the whole thing in. This is gonna be a different flower, so it's just this one color. And you want to put it on both sides, right? So take some red Play-Doh and put it on the left side also. Do you remember the next step? That's right, you're going to take the stem again, put it in the center, place it, push it, should be firmly in there, and then we close the book. We'll see a little bit of Play-Doh coming out the sides. That means we have more than enough. Squeeze it hard. And there we have a third beautiful flower. Just have to remove any extra from the side, the edges. And we have a completely different kind of flower, our third flower, beautiful flower, which we're gonna put like the others in the flower holder. That's looking really beautiful, isn't it? For the last one, let's use the last mold and use some white Play-Doh only for the upper portion. So first start with some white Play-Doh and put it inside the mold, but only the upper portion. Just take a little bit and put it right there, just at the very top.
Can you guess what we're going to do next? That's right. We're going to fill up the rest of the mold with the red Play-Doh. You want to fill up the entire mold, the entire rest of the mold, but make sure that white Play-Doh still stays at the top. This is going to be a different kind of flour. You have a lot of different options with the Play-Doh. Here we want the white on top and the red in the bottom. And finally, we take the stem, we push it and press it into the center. We're going to close the book. We're going to squeeze it. A little bit comes off the side. Open it gently. And we have our fourth flower. This one looks a little bit different than the others. Don't forget, you want to take off any edges, clean up the sides. Put the stem into the flower holder and we have our fourth flower. And those are just two colors and you can make any kind of combination you want. Making flowers from different molds is a lot of fun and it's really exciting. Four beautiful flowers with the rose garden from Play-Doh. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more interesting Play-Doh videos.